Hey guys, so today Apple has released iOS 18.5 Developer Beta 3. Now, public beta testers, you'll most likely see this populate on your device within the next 24 to 48 hours as per usual. Now, the size of the download was a little over 900 megabytes. iOS 18.5 Beta 3 was released a week after Beta 2, which means Apple has now switched over to a weekly release schedule. Now, aside from iOS 18.5 Developer Beta 3, Apple also released iPadOS 18.5 Beta 3, WatchOS 11.5 Beta 3, TVOS 18.5 Beta 3, HomeOS 18.5 Beta 3, VisionOS 2.5 Beta 3, and MacOS 15.5 Beta 3. Now, iOS 18.5 seems to focus on the one thing that Apple users have been asking Apple to do for a very, very long time, and that is stability and performance. Now, today's beta does provide some bug fixes and improvements to continue to build upon that, which I'm happy to report. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So taking a look at the download for iOS 18.5 Developer Beta 3, we have nearly a gig of a download. You see here a little over 900 megabytes from Beta 2 to beta 3 which is a large file size for a third beta let's head on over into general go to the about section ios version and there it is the latest build number for ios 18.5 beta 3 it ends on the letter j now typically that means we see perhaps two more betas the rc release candidate with the official release to follow we'll talk about the release date here in just a couple of seconds but i want to talk about some of the latest changes and refinements happening within this latest beta for ios 18.5 as i mentioned this software update feels very stable very polished so let's start off with the apple vision pro app within the latest beta apple has refined this application continues to add content minor tweaking and the one thing that it continues to add is more content for apple vision pro we now have the new spatial gallery app available on vision os we have some more behind the scenes of some of the latest apple shows but again the apple vision pro more refinements to the application within ios 18.5 developer beta 3 and i love this application to manage content within apple vision pro and also to discover content within Vision OS. Now, one thing to note is that with previous betas for iOS 18.5, so 18.5 beta 1 and beta 2, the Apple Care section here, the Apple Care plus warranty and warranty was broken for many users, including myself. It is now loading properly. Everything is buttery smooth. You'll see here all my devices listed here, and you see that we have a brand new look here for the Apple Care section on the latest 18.5. For those of you that this section was broken for, this will be the first time you probably see these new changes happening here. Now, not everyone saw these issues, but I did as well as some of you guys also told me about having these issues loading that actual page there. It has now been fixed and polished. Again, this software update, again, buttery smooth from control center, you know, customizing your control center experience from navigating the OS, browsing through the OS, everything feels buttery smooth. And I know a lot of you guys are looking forward to this within iOS 18.5. So with all that being said, when can we expect this software to be released here to the general public? And now given the fact that iOS 18.5 beta 3 was released a week later after beta 2, that means that Apple is now on a weekly release schedule instead of a two weeks release schedule. So Apple could release this software earlier than expected. I was expecting this software to release towards the end of May, but I'm beginning to think that this software may release towards early or mid-May. So instead of mid to late, early to mid-May. So keep in mind that iOS 18.5, we may see another beta next week on the week of the 28th. We may see another beta or perhaps the release candidate on the 5th of May, the following week after that. And then I'm thinking the official release could happen on May 12th. And hopefully the stability and performance that I'm experiencing right now with this software update from animations to control center customization to browsing the OS and even battery life, which is what we all want, continues with the official release of the software so again no confirmed information here this is just based on my experience of covering ios for many years i think the official release is going to be early mid-may i'll keep you guys posted but again the latest beta for ios 18.5 beta 3 continues to polish the operating system and i can't wait so you guys get your hands on this one because this feels like the best update in terms of performance and stability for iphone users ever since the official release of ios 18. there you guys have it thank you for watching i hope you guys found this information helpful and i'll see you guys on the next one peace